Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Undisciplined Mind podcast for Monday, October 26th, 2015. So the wife and I went away for the weekend because it was our wedding anniversary. Yesterday, Sunday, was our 29th. So we're looking forward to next year getting to celebrate the big 3 0. And we uh, went away, we went up to up north a, way, a ways, not so far up north that we were in the UP of Michigan, but we went up to Gaylord, um, which is you know, kind of like, I don't know, if you're using, the, the, using your hand as a map, as we tend to do here, it's probably like up somewhere around the first knuckle of your ring finger, I'm going to say, somewhere like that. It's about three and a half hour drive from here. And we went up with the express purpose of just doing a color tour, a fall color tour. And that's something that's done, some people like to do here. You know, go up and see the colors of the trees and, and all, the, you know, all the different shades that there are. And, and of course, there's a lot more trees up there than there are down here, although we got a fair amount of trees. But, you know. As far as, you know, lots of tree-lined roads to drive down. There's not that many here in the suburbs of Detroit. And for a change, we've, we've, we've kind of gone up there, been up there around this time before, and kind of hoped that maybe we'd be able to see some nice fall colors, and or the timing was always off, and we'd see sticks. But uh, the trees down here have been, you know, changing a little slower. The wife noticed, and so she figured that, you know, all things being equal, given how fast things would be progressing down here, there still should be some nice, nice color up there. And she was correct. And there were some really pretty trees going on. Uh, there were some, you know, lots of yellows and oranges. And, and reds, uh, although the reds were, you know, most of the reds I saw were these little bushes, predominantly on the sides of the freeway when we were driving up and down. And this nice vibrant red that I was, she later told me was a, um, a burning bush. Uh, but there were some reds. You, my favorite had to be these oranges. There were some of these oranges that just popped. They were just, they almost glowed. They were just really a, a neat shade. So we drove up Friday night or afternoon into the night. And then Saturday we went out for our main drive. We were heading over to toward Traverse City, which is about an hour away. So we went to Traverse City. And when we got there, we, we actually met up with a, a Twitter friend that we've talked to for a few years who lives in Traverse City. So he met him at a Big B and had coffee with him and that was great fun. That was that was a fun time. Nice conversation. Great to finally meet another Twitter person on uh, in real life, I should say. So that was cool. Um, and then we went up the uh, Leonor Peninsula. I think I'm saying that right. It's this it's a peninsula on the, you know, basically the pinky, if you will, of Michigan, and, you, and we, walk, we went all the way up there, there's a small state park up there, and we went to the state park, and looked around, and, and then we came back down, and, and it was this gorgeous country, for part of it we were going along the coast of the peninsula, so we could see into the bay, and there was these trees everywhere, and it was really beautiful, really beautiful up there. But, you know, the bad thing about Saturday was is it rained pretty much all day. Well, I shouldn't say that. In the, in the afternoon. Because the morning it was, like, gray. We never really, well, at one point we saw a bit of sun, but then it, it very quickly went away in the afternoon. So we went to um, this ice cream place called Moomers, 
which is apparently the big thing ice cream wise in Traverse City. Uh, supposedly, like Good Morning America had named it the best ice cream in the country at some point. So we'd gone there. When we got down there, there was a little bit of sun coming up, but we weren't too far up the Lena Peninsula, and it was raining, and it it rained the rest of the afternoon. I think it stopped raining at some point when we were in dinner. So uh, yeah, we did get to see some some beautiful trees. It would have it, you know they they look really spectacular you know in the rain and the gray. I, I can't even imagine how how nice it would have looked had it actually been sunny out. It probably would have been just awe-inspiring. There was like one point we were we were driving. I think it's when we were driving toward um, Traverse City from from Gaylord. Uh, we were on kind of this little flat road with. You know, farm on one side and farm on the on the left side, but not too far away there was a big hill, and that was covered in trees with just this array of colors. The problem was it was kind of foggy, and so we could see it, but it was a little it was a little obscured by mist, and that would have been nicer to have seen better and in sunlight. It probably would have been really spectacular, but we saw enough pretty things that you know. It was still worth it, even with the rain. We did a lot of driving. I mean, we, we, drove, we drove, you know, all afternoon on Saturday. Um, and, well, pretty much, you know, other than when we stopped in places. And then uh, we drove home yesterday. Uh, we, we, as far as good meals, we scored... I'm going to say three out of four. When we stopped at Big B Coffee, we had a uh, turkey Havarti bagel, as they call it, meaning they're just using a bagel as bread. Um, and that was really good. That was tasty. For dinners, we were two out of three. A number of years ago, there was this place here in town called the Big Buck, the Big Buck Brewery, and they had really good steaks, and they had ribs, and they had beer that they brewed on site. And it wasn't too far from our home, and, and so we used to go there fairly regularly, and we really enjoyed it. It was one of our favorite restaurants. You know, and I enjoyed the beer there that they made, and um, then it went out of business. But the kind of the parent restaurant is in Gaylord. So, and I'd forgotten about this, and, and the wife was reminded of it. And she said, "Hey, Big Bucks here." I was like, "Well, all right." I mean, that was an easy decision. We thought we knew what we were getting into. So we get there. You know, and the decor is the same. It's all, you know, chandeliers made out of antlers and, you know, the, 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 the tables and the chairs that are, you know, the frames are made out of branches. You know, so it's a very rustic, rustic theme. It's a lot smaller than the one here at Ben. I mean, the, the dining room area of, of the one here was just massive. You know, that's not even counting the section where the, where the big vats for making the beer were. But the, you know, the dining room is just massive. The building as a whole was pretty darn big. This thing had a dining room that was probably more in keeping with what you'd expect in a restaurant in the little town of Gaylord. It was probably... I'm going to say less than a quarter of the size of the one that was up here. The menu was much smaller. And, um, you know, they had this thing on the menu that I thought sounded interesting called the stout pie, which is basically chunks of prime rib and a pot pie. So basically a beef pot pie. I thought, well, that sounds kind of interesting. So the waiter came over and 
you know, gives me a, a dirty beer menu. You know, warning sign number two. Or maybe that's warning sign number one. Warning sign number two is when I asked him when we were ordering, I asked him about the style pie. You know, I asked him how it was. He said, eh, it's okay. I'm just like, okay, so maybe I'm not getting that. So the wife ordered a filet mignon. I ended up ordering the same thing. We both ordered it the same temperature, medium rare. Um, and it comes with mashed potatoes and it comes with, I think, green beans. And that was fine. And we get the steaks. And they're overcooked. Mine was medium, and my wife's is more like medium well. So we pointed that out, and they brought us new, you know, they they, they, they took our steaks away, and they brought us new steaks. And we had the, still had the mashed potatoes and the green beans. We were kind of nibbling on those a little bit. I was kind of saving mine because I didn't want to have, like, just steak. And the steaks came. Turned out they, they made us two full new plates. And then the steaks were cooked, you know, no more than medium rare. They might have been a little bit more on the rare side, but that was okay. And the steaks were good, but, you know, they were, they were charging like 35 bucks for this plate. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't mind paying 35 bucks for a steak. I do 35 or a little bit more at Ruth's Chris, but this wasn't that quality of steak. The winner really on that plate was the mashed potatoes. They had these cheddar mashed potatoes, whatever, and they were they were really good. So you know, later I saw on Google that it had like a two and a half star rating. I was just like, yeah, I don't even know I give it that much. I'd probably give it two. So yeah, if you're in Gaylord and somebody tells you about the Big Buck Brewery, I would say find someplace else to eat. We also uh, we had our friend in. Traverse City uh, recommends a place, and he re- he pointed us to another brewery called North Peak, and that was really good. Uh, enjoyed that a bit. They had a, you know, they had a great IPA, and uh, I got this um, chicken that was marinated in the IPA and whatever. And that was really tasty. I liked that a lot. So that was that was a good meal. And then yesterday, coming home, we did our usual stop by Frankenmuth, Michigan, and got us a, a chicken dinner, which we like to do. It's actually our third time this year, which is which is pretty that's pretty rare. We make it we make it there three times in a year. Some years we only we go there for our, our birthday dinners in February. And some years that's the only time we make it. But this year, because we stopped once when we were coming back from seeing my nephew graduate we came back down through the UP. So, yeah. But it was a good weekend. It was nice to actually go somewhere. It's like the, the only time this, this summer where I've taken time off and actually gone away. Um, you know, on like a vacation kind of thing. So, yeah, that was fun. That was fun. But um, I'm at 13 and some odd minutes. I guess I'll let this go for today. I'll be back tomorrow, and I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.